everyone, and welcome to the first LEGO Star Wars figure review. Today's review is on Jin Erso. Alright, so here is Jin Urso, or Sergeant Jin Urso, as the set is officially called. Now, this set was really interesting, because when we first saw it, it looked pretty... Sorry if I bumped the camera. Sorry if the camera's messed up. I'm using the small studio. But, um, this figure was really boring at first. Nobody was really into it. You know, everybody just kind of thought, eh, it looks okay, I guess. And that's because we saw it like this. We didn't see the new torso design. Well, now... Of course, they designed a new torso, and from the images, it looked really good. So everyone was getting really hyped up for this figure, and now when we actually get it, so we're a little disappointed. Um, or at least I was a little disappointed, uh, but I'll get into that later. Um, right now, I'm going to go over the functions, and she has a few. She is a CCBS construction figure, and they do have functions pretty often. So, uh, first off is the standard Star Wars gun firing function, if I can figure out how it actually works. Well, that's right, you gotta use a scope to fire her, it's really weird. Alright, so uh, there's that. And then she also, you can take her gun off, which I do like they use a piece here, so that when you take the gun off, the isn't left over. And I really do like this design for a sniper rifle, I think that looks great. Um, but as I was saying, uh, she also has got her second function, which is kind of weird. She's got these batons, and they attach really weird. Um, and she does have a taunt in the movie when she's wearing her Imperial outfit, which I think she should have had in this figure. But I think the reason they ultimately went with this outfit was because they didn't want to mold the hair. Which they ended up having to do anyway back here. Um, they shouldn't be scared of that. I think that's getting kind of old. Just do the hair. You know, it sh it'll look fine. And it sounds like next year our construction figures will in fact have hair. We'll see how that turns out. But, this is how her function works. You turn this and uh, I think it moves from a faster and she like spins it around. It works out pretty well. The only problem is that um, they're really loose and it's not good for posing. It's only good for play and she holds it very strangely. Um, but for play, I guess it's all right. So yeah. Um, now now we've got the functions out of the way. Uh, again, it's just a standard um, uh, arm swinging function that we've had for the past two years. Um, Let's talk about the overall look of the figure. I'm going to take her gun off and just look at the figure itself. So it looks pretty good on camera, but in person, she's got some really long legs. And it's looking better now than it has before. But if I put her like this, she's got some incredibly long legs, and that's because they wanted to fit this new CCBS shell on, and it just... The legs are too long. You saw that in my live stream build. The legs are too long. They needed to make the legs shorter. Um... I just don't think it works. I think this printing looks good. They're always really good with the printing. It's just that they use this torso with this style of uh, garb, and it just doesn't work. Um, it's not a tight. Her suit isn't this tight. Uh, Ray's is more tight than this, and so it's just kind of awkward. But, yeah, that torso by itself looks really good. But um, then you put on all these armor pieces, and it just there isn't enough new parts to kind of finish the shaping they're going for. The hips here... Kind of work out a little better, but the arms are still the awkward CCBS, not awkward, but um, robotic CCBS, um, very blocky design. Um, so, yeah. The head, I think I've gotten used to these heads now, but it's still, it's a kind of dumb staring off uh, head. It does have these cool, the eyes are green, so that's cool. Um, again, it does have hair, the hat looks good, everything looks good. Um, she has a really good parts pack. So she's got some, like, really... She's got a whole crap load of these gray parts, and that's really good. She also has a new shell, which is massive. It's absolutely gigantic, and the attachment point is way down here. It's pretty crazy. Um, and again, she's very poseable. You know, you can get her in all the standard poses. So, yeah. Overall, looking at her in studio, she looks better on camera. She looks better than in person, which is surprising for CCBS figures. Normally, it's the other way around. They look better in person than on camera. Um... But, I, for $24, she's absolutely not worth that. That is way too expensive. Most of these figures are not worth $24. That is ridiculous. She should have been $15. This is a solid $15 figure. 
not a $25 figure. That's that's in, that's insane. That is just outright robbery. Um, but she's a good parts pack if you're a CCBS fan. Again, she's got a load of these gray pieces. She's got, I mean, she's got two different size armor shells, and they're both really useful. So, yeah, good parts pack, but as a figure, uh, she's just okay. They are working in steps to improve it, and I really hope that if they ever make a Spider-Man, they use this torso, because I think that could work out um, if they do it right. But, yeah. So, uh, that's about it. That's all I have to say about Jin. She's a pretty decent figure, and if you're looking to get her, you probably, I wouldn't get your hopes up too much, and i probably buy some of the other figures in the wave. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.